Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us for the design meeting for the Autumn Drive Water and Sewer Improvement Project. We are recording this, so please make sure that you are muted until the presentation is over. If you have questions during the presentation, you can go down to the right-hand corner of the screen where it says chat, and you can post your questions in the chat, and we will field those questions first after the presentation. Then we'll open the floor to any call-in users who have questions. And I'm going to hand this over to Dina Johnson, who is your project manager. Dina? Good evening. Thank you for attending this design meeting. We have an, an agenda we're going to follow tonight. Uh, we start with introduction, project overview, project area, frequently asked questions. Your design project team includes myself, I'm Dina Johnson. My phone number is 817-392-7866. My email address is dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. Engineering design consultant is RLG. Brent Lewis is the project manager. Project overview. Sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Autumn Court to the north, Bel Air Circle to the east, Winslow Drive and Overton Park to the south, and Overton Park Drive east to the west. These improvements are in Council District 3. Construction will impact the Overton Park Neighborhood Association area. Project area. We have water and sewer improvement in Autumn Drive from South Cul-de-Sac, Ranch View Road. We have water and sewer in Autumn Drive from Ranch View Road to Autumn Court, and water and sewer improvement in Autumn Court from Autumn Drive to the South Dead End. Also, we have sewer in an easement west of Autumn Drive from 700 feet north of the Ranch View Road at Autumn Drive intersection, 270 feet westerly, then 50 feet northerly. We have another sewer in, in an easement west of Autumn Drive from 1,000 feet north and 180 feet north of the Ranch View at Autumn Drive intersection to 250 north. We have a questions that we're going to post that most people would ask. Why are you doing this project? Fort Worth prioritize water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, which is uh, when we um, put a camera into the pipe to tell us the condition of the pipe, edge of the line, line material, and whether there are lead service lines. In this instant, the project was created because of the water cast iron pipe initiative the city of Fort Worth is implementing to reduce the amount of water main breaks, as well as the condition and edge of the sanitary sewer lines in the area. Do you replace the water service line up to my house? We replace the city owned service line to the property line. We also replace the water meter and meter box, and we will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is considered private plumbing, and in the event of a leak, repairs need to be done by a licensed plumber at the homeowner expense. Will you need access to our property? This construction is in the public right of way and or in utility easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. A new sewer clean outs will be installed at the property line. The sewer clean out provide the crew easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from the temporary to the new line. These switchovers are done during the day. 
The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes <laughs> per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer month, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above the ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line during the warmer month is based on an average of the previous month's usage. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. If you are on a temporary water line and are advised to keep your water running when the temperature drops below freezing, Fort Worth will credit your account for water use above your normal daily use. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, the inspector has to take water samples. We call that flushing the line. The water flow from flushing the line will be continuous until two consecutive water samples pass the bacteriological test. You will be connected to the new water main after we achieve those two successful samples. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the, the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. Are we getting a new curb, gutter, and sidewalks? Existing curb, gutter, sidewalks, and driveways will not be replaced except in certain circumstances, which includes those that are damaged by the contractor during construction. The contractor may need to remove and replace some curb and gutter and sidewalks to restore services. The contractor will also remove and replace driveway approaches and currently have water meters located in the approach that must be relocated. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Damage resulting from the contractor's activity during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the water and sewer construction affect my irrigation? You have an irrigation, irrigation system, sprinkler system. The contractor has to cap the irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace irrigation systems that are damaged during construction. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinklers between 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., watering by hand held hose, drip irrigation, or soaker hose is allowed at any time. Twice a week, irrigation system or sprinkler schedule will assign days for all water customers. We have Monday, no watering allowed, on Tuesday and Friday, non-residential sites such as apartment, businesses, parks, and common areas. On Wednesday and Saturday, we have residential addresses ending in even numbers. On Thursday and Sunday, we have residential addresses ending in odd numbers. Will there be lane closure during construction? Expect lane closure during construction when the contractor is installing the water and sewer lines. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hours of constructions are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And if requested by the contractors, sometimes we he will work from 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash 
truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Timeline. This is a design meeting. The next steps include advertising the project for bids, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, pre-construction meeting with the contractor and inspector, a community construction meeting to update those impacted by the project. Construction starts. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website at the link below. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number 102785-2 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary frequent asked questions will be linked to this project. Contacts. Myself, I'm Dina Johnson. My number 817-392-7866. My email, dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, water main breaks or sewer backups, 24 hours a day, you can call 817-392-4477, select option one. For non-emergency, water call center, you can, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, you can call 817-392-4477. Plus city holidays. Download the My FW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or a broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issue, and other sewer concerns. With that, I want to thank you for joining us this evening. And now we can take questions. Okay, we don't have any questions in the chat. Um, if you have some questions or you want to see a slide that you may have missed, go ahead and uh, unmute yourself and ask. Okay, we've got Brad, Ginger, Jack, and Robert. Do I go first then if I'm Brad? <laughs> you can go first, yes, sir. Yes, uh, on, on the diagram, there's also gonna be gas work being performed on Autumn and Autumn Court uh, on the north side. It, no. it, it's, it was, I'm sorry, did you make a statement? Uh, yeah, we, we don't normally, uh, the, we're just uh, replacing water sewer. This is for other utilities. Uh, no, that's that's not my point. My point is there will be gas work going on because they've already said they're going to be doing gas work. And that actually was my question. Were you aware that there was going to be gas work being done at the same time you're planning to do the sewer work? And I guess uh, the answer is no. <laughs> no, the answer is no, because normally we send the class for utility clearance and we like them to be out of the project when we start construction. So are you aware that they are planning to do gas work on Autumn and Autumn Court right now? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, well, they normally, because, because construction is going to start next year. So normally they start way ahead of us to, to do the replacement, whatever they need to repair on the gas lines. Okay, so they'll do all that work before you get started. Thank you. That's yes. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and I should say that Jack has joined us from um, Council Member Crane's office. So he is on the call with us. So if you have any questions. Okay, so we've got Brad, Ginger, um, Robert, do you have some questions or do you want to see a slide? I can't hear. I can't hear Brad. Uh, are we going to get an email confirming a lot of this? All these slides, or I can send it to the Overton Park Neighborhood Association. But um, Dina, can you go to that page link? 
think it's uh, A19. Okay, this one? Yeah, there you go. Yes, um, no. everything will be linked to that page. We will create a YouTube video out of this WebEx meeting, and we will also have written summary FAQs that are, are a copy of the WebEx PowerPoint, but if you don't want to go watch the video, you can read it. And generally, we have that in English and Spanish. My translator is out with surgery. So the Spanish translation probably will not be posted until the 1st of April. So are you going to send us this link? Or once, the, this I, once the project, I should be able to get the project page updated tomorrow. Um, so I can send that to the board members of the Overton Park Neighborhood Association. Are you on the board? Uh, no, I just, I just okay. want to know if, if, how I get this link. Okay, do you want to put your email in the chat? Can you do that? I can if I know, we'll figure out how to do the chat. Okay, just click on uh, chat in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, I'll, I got it. Okay. Very good, I'll do that. And if you all signed in with an email, um, we do get an Excel that shows the, the email addresses. And if, if you did that, then I'll be able to send the information to you. Okay, that'll work, thank you. Okay, does anyone else have questions? We're in the design state, and Gina, what do we say about when we would come back with a construction public meeting? Uh, Sally, could you say that again? I'm sorry. When do you when do you expect construction to start? I'm sorry, I missed that part. Uh, the ballpark, like. Well, we're gonna advertise in the uh, in the winter of this year, so probably we can okay. start uh, probably by uh, the spring of next year construction. Okay. So we'll come back to you guys in the spring of um, 23, and we'll have a lot more answers because Dina will have a chance to talk to the contractor and find out where he's gonna start. Um, north end, south end however that's going to go. Yes. Dina, do you have anything else? No. I want to thank everybody for joining us this evening. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.